Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to yet another tutorial on the channel today. So today we're going to be talking about Da Vinci. No, I'm not talking about that Da Vinci. I'm talking about this Da Vinci. So for those that don't know, DaVinci Resolve is a fully fledged editing suite. It's available for Mac and Windows, and it's perfect for anyone that wants to get into TikTok creating, YouTube short creating, making your first YouTube video, or just making just about anything creative. DaVinci Resolve really packs a punch with all the tools that's included for free, not to mention it's free. No catch, no shady installations, no weird websites, a free, great product. I really would recommend it to everybody. So today we're just gonna go over some of the basic features that DaVinci has to offer for you guys, so that finally you can go ahead and start producing your own video videos today. Now before we get into it and carry on with the rest of the video, I just want to make sure that you guys know that I stream on Twitch every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. A link is going to be in the description down below. If you do want to check it out, drop a follow on the channel, meet some of the community, I really would appreciate it. Alright, so let's get into it. So once you've got DaVinci Resolve all installed, a link will be in the description where you can download it from. We're going to go ahead and set up our first project. So when you first open DaVinci Resolve, you're going to be greeted with this screen. Now you're not going to have all the projects like I do, but this is your project database where all your previous and your current projects are all stored. What we're going to do today is create a new project. So you want to hit new project in the bottom. So once your project has been created, you'll be greeted with this screen. Now I know it all looks a bit confusing and a bit too much, but trust me, I'm here to talk you guys through it and help you understand it as much as possible. So just at a brief glance, I'm going to show you guys how to navigate through the different tools and features that DaVinci Resolve has to offer for you. Now at the bottom, you can see all the different applications with in DaVinci, which all have their own speciality. Now first, going from left to right, we have the cut tab where DaVinci gives you all the necessary tools to cut out all the unused footage in big clumps, making it an absolute doddle to see which footage you have to edit and you're not sitting there cutting out all your silence. Next up is the edit tab where all the edits are done. So transitions from scene to scene, adding clips or sounds to your project, any text or subtitles that you want to add to your project. Next in line is the fusion tab. This is where you can do all sorts of green screening, adding any masks to your clips and loads of other super cool and in-depth effects. Next tab across is the color tab this is where you can handle all the color in your selected clips you can apply LUTs you can change it to monochrome fiddle with all the different color levels all of that is done within the color tab the music symbol is the Fairlight utility where you can add all kinds of audio effects to your project anything from compressors and echoes to limiters and flanges and last of all the rocket symbol is the deliver tab where you have all your final settings and all your adjustments you make before rendering your final masterpiece so first things first before we get creating to your masterpiece you need to prep your canvas now, if you're making TikToks or YouTube Shorts, your resolution is going to be 1080 by 1920. This means 1080 pixels across and 1920 top to bottom. If you're making YouTube videos or videos that are meant to be viewed on the desktop, you're going to be doing the opposite, which is 1920 by 1080, 1920 pixels across and 1080 pixels top to bottom. So to set this on your project, what you want to do is hit the cog in the bottom right. And here we have timeline resolution. Now for this video's purpose, I'm going to set it to 1920 by 1080 and we're going to set it to 60 frames per second. Once that's done, you can hit save and now we can get creative our masterpiece okay now that we got our canvas all prepped let's get some clips in so to get clips into your project you want to head to file import media navigate to where you have your video stored so i have two clips here that i'm going to go try and edit so now that we got some clips on our project but we've decided we want to cut out the first few seconds of some clips to do this when we head to the edit tab head to your media pool drag the clip in that you want to edit so for me it's going to be the parachute snipe now we're just going to zoom in just so we can make it just a bit easier to see where we're going to cut it you can also drag your mouse and drag your playhead exactly to where you want to cut it so i've decided i want to cut the first three seconds so using the timer on the left we're going to drag it to three now once we have where we want to cut we're just going to click the razor blade icon you can also use the keyboard shortcut B to do this. Now we're just going to click exactly where we want the cut. You can also do this without your playhead being there, but then you can literally just cut very precisely exactly where you want using the preview on the top. With our first three seconds cut out, we want to hit the cursor tool, click on the clip, and then we're going to press backspace. Throughout your time of using DaVinci Resolve, try getting the habit of pressing backspace instead of the delete button. The delete button causes a ripple effect and will delete multiple clips, whereas backspace just deletes that singular clip. Now, if you realize you've cut just a bit too much out, no worries. You can literally just grab the side of the clip and drag it out to however much you want to restore back to the clip. So for example, if I wanted to add one second back, just take the playhead to two seconds and you can drag it straight back out and it's added a second back into the clip. So now that we have all of our clips on our timeline, we're going to throw some basic transitions between them just so we can make it flow a little more. So what you're going to want to do is head to the effects library, which is located towards the top. Once opened, that's going to bring up a list of transitions that we can use and you simply drag and drop them onto your project. So for this example, I'm going to use the cross dissolve effect. So we're just going to go ahead and drag and drop it onto our project. So now when we watch that back, you'll see that it literally slowly just fades in from one clip to the other. Now, let's say we want to add some basic text over the top of this head back into your effects library and click on titles select the text tool and simply drag and drop it where you want it on your project so once decided where you want it on your project you can use all the settings in the inspector in the top right here to change what the text contains the font family the size 
and the position of where you want it located on your canvas. So now if we play this, you'll see that the text appears and then it disappears just before the clips fade away. Now I'm not gonna get into how we do green screen effects or anything too complex like that, just because I won't be able to fit it all into one video. But if you do wanna see a video like that, make sure you hit that sub button and hit that bell notification icon. And then I'll drop an advanced tutorial on how to use green screen and a few other cool features. Okay, so now we got our project finished and we wanna export it to YouTube. Let's head to the Deliver tab and let's do all the settings necessary. So DaVinci is kind of awesome because it has presets for every single channel that you want to upload to. So for this example, we're going to use the YouTube preset. Do remember that if you're making a TikTok or YouTube short, you want to hit on resolution, go to custom and you want to put this to 1080, 1920. So you want to flip the resolution here. But since we're making a YouTube video, we don't need to change any of that. So browse to the location that you want to export it to, call it what you want to call it. Now you can either render your entire timeline or you can select input and output regions. Just because we haven't used the whole timeline in this example, I'm gonna use input and output region. So what you do is you drag these notches to where your project starts and where your project finishes. So we've dragged the playhead and the notch just to the start of the project. Once you've double checked all your settings and it looks good in the preview window, hit add to render queue. If you're double triple sure this is what you wanna render, hit render all. Now, once you've hit render, your computer fans or laptop fans might start spinning up. Don't worry, this is just the CPU squishing together everything inside your project and making it one entire video. I know this is just a very basic and very short tutorial, but I just wanna help anybody struggling out there who's not really understanding Resolve, because I know me personally, a year ago, it was very complicated when I first got into it, but watching YouTube videos like this helped me understand it more and more every single day. If you guys did enjoy types of content like this, please do drop a like on the video. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this. Lastly, don't forget to hit that sub button drop a follow on the twitch as well that'd be nice and hopefully i'll catch you in the next video take care guys peace